Hello Derek today viewers from the Stuart Peterson Advisory Team. Here's a Dairy Week in Review. Recap on the week of June 1st, 2012. Well taking a look at our component prices here on Friday in the holiday short run week. Definitely saw some volatility and as you can see some gains across the board. All of our components steady to higher and cheese really making a bang this week. Crawling higher blocks leading the charge up 8 cents for the week. Finishing at that 165 mark. Barrels not too far behind that up 6 and a quarter for the week. Finishing just above 153. Butter also sliding higher, finishing at 140 even. And some powder markets here as well. A little more mixed here. July way was up two pennies for the week, finishing just below that 50 cent mark. And July non fat dry milk holding steady, steady there with zeros across the board. After taking a look at those strong component gains, you might think that they carried over pretty well, had a strong upside influence on our class three milk market for the week. But as you can see, that certainly wasn't the case with some selling pressure in the near bed months. Also buying interest in the deferred months, we'll get to that in just a second. But I really saw these months go in divergence with cheese. As cheese was going higher, these months were going lower. So really calling the bluff on the cheese value throughout the week. But as we narrow in here, looking at June, now in that front month spot, down at 18 cents of the week, nearing that 15.50 mark, finishing exactly at 15.62. July really in the driver's seat in that second month contract now. Did see the brunt of the pressure along with August, down 42 and 43 cents. Both these contracts did reach new highs throughout the week that we haven't seen for quite some time. We'll walk through that in July in just a minute on the charts. But getting throughout the year here, September also saw some pressure, down 22 cents for the week. October through December, you can see this pressure really starting to lighten up. Actually had some buying interest as that forward curve really starts to flatten out. November, December up three and five. So as you see that optimism that was there for these early summer months has shifted to the late December, fourth quarter months here. More buying interest here to lift these up and flatten out that forward curve. Taking a closer look at the cash cheese market, we'll flip over the charts. This chart is a weekly block barrel average chart. So each one of these candlesticks does represent a week's worth of trade. And we'll start with where we finished here this week and definitely noticing how this market, both the blocks and barrels have found some legs here over the past two weeks and really crept up higher here. And as you can see, pressing that 160 mark, a level we haven't seen for quite some time. So to the upside, definitely running into some heavy resistance. To the downside, 145. Once again, noting that we have been up almost 15 cents over the past few weeks. So supportive to see, but once again, heavy resistance above us. As you can see where we peaked out here about a month ago in that region and that 163 area. So just a few more pennies above us. If we do clear that, it could have some more upside from there. But once again, keep an eye on that key resistance to the upside. We'll go ahead and stay in the charts and look at the July Class 3 milk price, also on a weekly chart. So once again, each one of these candlesticks, red or green, does represent a week's worth of trade. So as we did before, we'll check in with where we finished out the week here on Friday, right on that 1590 price level. And as you can see, we were off the highs, which were close around 1658, so very strong reversal. As we finish in the week's end, we'll get to that in just a minute. But to the downside, as you can see, just how far we've come here over the past three to four weeks. In the basement here at 1410 is where we bottomed out. After that nasty month of April, you can see nothing but red there this week after week. So that was really a pivot point here and nothing but green since then. Haven't showed any signs of weakness until this week. So definitely want to keep an eye on this week's highs as key resistance above us. And those come in once again right around that 1650, 1660 area. So that will be key resistance as we move forward. Earlier this week, USDA released the preliminary milk feed price ratio for the month of May, which is certainly a mouthful, but we'll go ahead and switch over the charts, dive in a little bit closer to that report, see what we could see. So for the month of May, we did come in at 1.38, which is very significant and actually record-breaking number at 1.38. As you can see on the charts here, this red line does represent the previous all-time low held by June of 2009. So we did come crashing through that. Also, USDA did revise the month of April beneath that price level as well. So that does mark two months that we have made fresh lows for that milk feed price ratio. So overall, once again, very significant. But as we look on the charts here, can be a little bit supportive. As you can see in 2009, after reaching that low, we did reach up higher, reason being with the historical high grain prices. Also, the softness in milk prices leads to overall herd contraction or herd reduction, which does in turn lead to higher milk prices. So keep an eye on the smoke feed ratio, how it turns out if we do reach some new bottoms here and if we do start to creep higher. Fundamentally, we didn't see a lot of key reports out in the holiday short and week, but one report that we do keep a close eye on that is a weekly report that is very consistent is the weekly block barrel combined sales volume. This is coming from the National Dairy Products Report. So we'll check in on this just to see our products moving and overall demand as well. And as you can see here, we have slowed down over the past two weeks, hanging above this 19 million pound mark on a weekly basis. As we look back a little bit here over the past few weeks, we have been hanging above this, really reaching that 20, 22 million pound mark, but we have once again drifted below here. 
and we haven't had this year, and even it's been quite a while as we go back to last October, September on the charts here, we haven't had two consecutive weeks really hugging this 19 million pound mark. Definitely has been a pivot point so far this year. It's a little bit concerning there on the demand side of the equation, seeing two weeks in a row hovering around this 19 million pound mark. And finally, looking into next week, a few things to keep on your radar. First one being, ask the question here, further upside in cash cheese. Definitely a great question as we walked through earlier on this chart. It's very stiff resistance above us, only a few pennies. Also looking at that block barrel spread. Definitely need to see something shake out there with blocks, either falling back behind, getting more parity with barrels, or barrels playing catch up. So we'll keep an eye on both of those things as we move forward into next week. Also looking at key reports out, maybe a good week for international updates. First, the global dairy trade auction coming out Tuesday, June 5th. And then also the Oceana Market Update coming on Thursday, June 7th as well. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.